Hello, just a heads up on this week's episode, I tried to use a new microphone. It didn't work out so well, but I definitely wanted to get the podcast episode out there. So again, I apologize. Next week, we will be back to the the better microphone that works, works a whole lot better. So other than that, enjoy this episode. Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of the Awesome Sauce Studio podcast, where I'm shining the spotlight on awesome things happening in the classroom. First of all, on this week's episode, I want to give a huge shout out to the Ed Camp Johnson County team. On Saturday, we had our annual Ed Camp Johnson County event, which was a huge success. We had over 130 people there. There were some great conversations, some hot coffee, which has been an issue in the past, but we were actually able to get some hot coffee thanks to a donation from Chick-fil-A. We had some great, like I said, some great conversations, and it's just a great team to work with. The Ed Camp team is comprised of teachers from almost every major district in our area, and so that means we've got a good balance of bringing people in from our area from all different schools, all different backgrounds, and it's just a great day to come together and talk about teaching. I learned so much, and I hope everyone who attended learned as well. Looking forward to Ed Camp Johnson County 2024. It's going to be a great one. We'll take a little bit of a break for the summer, but then we'll be right back at planning for the next Ed Camp. There's a lot of work that goes into it, but it's very rewarding. At the end of the day, it's just a great chance for, for educators to collaborate. Now, this week's episode, I was just going to share a little bit of what's going on with one of my classes. My communication media class is a really interesting class because it's comprised of 7th and 8th graders. They are... There's about 26 kids in the class, so it's the biggest comm media class that I've ever taught. And one of the mistakes I made early on in the semester is I didn't give them the opportunity to collaborate. I didn't give them the chance to get to know one another other than their friends. And so what I've started to notice is they are definitely sticking with their friends every single time we group together. They're wanting to sit with their friends. Even if they're not in the same group, they're trying to find ways to engage with just the kids that they know. And that's a problem, especially in a communication class where the whole goal is to give them ways to communicate, whether it's through podcasting or news reporting or video news or advertising, all these different communication methods, but they're not communicating with each other. So I decided to shake things up a little bit, and on Friday... Uh, I put them in new groups. Now, they weren't thrilled with it, but I think it's a great way for them to connect with others in the class. So what I did is I shuffled the groups up, uh, and I, I paired them with people that I thought would be a good collaboration group. Now, some of them were still with a partner who they work really well with, but they're definitely working with some people, at least one other person who they haven't worked with before. Now, I didn't just stick with that. And one thing that I wish I had done early on in the year that I'm definitely going to do next year is and putting them not just with these groups, but we're also going to do some team builders. I am not great at team builders. I, I understand the value of them. I'm just not great at implementing them. But this group really needed a way to come together as a, as a team. So the first activity we did on Friday is I took a deck of cards and I cut them in half. And I gave each group a stack of some of the pieces of the cards. And I told them, your goal is to be the group that collects the most complete playing cards. Now, they started by putting the playing cards together in the groups that they already had, or the cards that they already had. And then they realized quickly that that wasn't going to be enough. So I told them, you've got to work together. You've got to collaborate and offer some negotiations with some of the other groups. You know, maybe you have cards that they want. They have cards that you want. Maybe you can offer a trade. And so... It's the first step towards getting them to collaborate together. On Monday, I'm going to do an activity where one person in the group is going to be drawing some shapes. I'm going to create just a, a picture with some simple shapes on it. And one person is going to be the one who's going to get to see the picture. One person in the group is going to be the person who's going to draw. They're not allowed to talk at all. And then the other group members are going to be there. to They can ask questions, but they can't see the picture, and they can't touch the marker. So it'll be another opportunity for them to get together. Like I said, one of the things that I should have done from day one is have them collaborating together, and I didn't do that enough. But I'm, I'm trying to resolve that now. It's never too late 
to restructure your class. It's never too late to rethink. And if you see something's not going the way you want it to, it's never too late to regroup, rethink, reevaluate, and change some things up. We'll see how it goes. I'll give you an update on next week's episode on how it's going with this shakeup. For the Mindful Minute this week, I was going to talk to you about your self-care plan. I've talked about this in the past, but it's always a great reminder. The thing is, is as teachers, we always want to help others, but we don't always make a plan for how we're going to help ourselves. And one way you can do that is by putting these things on the calendar. You've got to go to your calendar and say, this is the time that I'm going to do something for me. Whether it's a game night. Back when COVID first hit and we were uh, on lockdown, I scheduled a game night with some friends of ours on Zoom every month. And then it got to the point where we were doing it every week. Every Friday night, we knew we were going to meet together and play games. Now it's evolved, and since then, we've gotten together, and uh, now that we can meet in person, we play games about every other week. Sometimes it's every week. It's, it's just a great time. But we always try to get it on the calendar. And if it's been too long, if it's been a while since we've met together, we, we let each other know, hey, we need to get together. Look, when can we put this on the calendar so we can hang out? My wife, my daughter, they schedule on the calendar. We're going to go get our nails done. And they put it on the calendar because that's important to them. That's a good time for them to, uh, for my wife, she meets with some friends and they all get their nails done together. My daughter goes with my wife um, other times to get her nails done. And it's just a great time to get on the calendar a time for themselves. So I want you to think about when are you going to unplug? When are you going to schedule a time for self-care? Whether that's planning a time that you know you're going to go out and meet with some people uh, for coffee. Whether it's that, that time when, I'll be honest, my wife and I have to schedule things, schedule our date nights out and put them on the calendar. Otherwise, they don't happen. As much as we love each other, life gets in the way. We, we get busy with kids' plans and birthday parties and sporting events and so many different things. And if, if you don't plan it out, other things get in the way of that. So we try to get it on the calendar at least once a month. Um, same way with my daughter. We try to get on an appointment with her once a month, just one-on-one -on -one time. So, for example, on Wednesday, my daughter and I, uh, we have plans, I believe, to go get her nails done. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I knew I had something on the calendar for Wednesday, but I'm taking her to get her nails done this week uh, because my, my wife was unable to. And so every month we try to plan out this time. So just think about what do you need right now? What do you need time for? Is it time to go garden? Is that something that's relaxing to you? Put it on the calendar. Is it a time to... Uh, go get coffee with with a colleague that you haven't had a chance to in a long time. Do it. Put it on the calendar. Reach out to them. That's my challenge for you this week. It's just put something on the calendar for this week just for you. Now that's all I've got for this week's episode. Thank you for listening. Thank you for enjoying the podcast, participating in the podcast, listening to the podcast. Um, if you need anything, please reach out. You can find me on Twitter at Ninja. Or you can email me, teach like a ninja at gmail.com. Until next time, look forward and be awesome. Have a great week.